hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a simple church flyer now go to your photoshop select 4x4 because this is for social media then 4x4 inches your resolution should be 300 then you come here and click on grids then i'm going to select my test tool and i'll copy the church name ctrl v to paste copy to reduce the size then highlight and this and ctrl v to paste then Select your test tool again, highlight here, and I'll change the color to red. Then Ctrl A, apply center right. alignment. Ctrl D to deselect. Then I will in again case, Ctrl J on this okay. one to make it bigger like this. Then you bring it here. Now I'm going to change the color to red. Then after this, sorry, I do not select it before I apply the color. Red. Alright. Now that we have red, then I'm going to select a black color for now. Then I'm going to pick to copy this test here then duplicate this one or you drag it here then ctrl v to paste then i will reduce the size of this one like this then i'll go back to make this one a red color Now, go to your drop shadow to apply the shadow. The distance, I'll make the distance 5. Then the spread 4. Then, and the size 5. Then, the opacity I will increase it to 80 then change to black then ok ok now I will go back to select mesh then select my rectangle I will come here I'll drag like this, then apply red background color. Then I'll duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then I'm going to select another color like this. Then select the red rectangle. I use your arrow key then I have something like this okay reduce the font size all right now the next thing I'm going to do again is to duplicate this one ctrl J and I'll drag it here Align. Make sure you align it center. Then I'm going to copy my test. Then I'll come here. I'll change the font to Bebas Bold. 
then control D to paste then increase the font size like this then apply center alignment okay now I'm going to select this color code here then come here select gradient overlay right I have it here then I will leave the code in the description below now I'm going to apply stroke then white color the size is 8 then my opacity is 88 and blending mode is normal all right click ok then select your test tool you click then I will copy this test here then control V to paste then I will change this color I mean the font to 8 championship 8 championship alright let me ok I'm going to select change the font to range italic range italic then I will leave it black then apply center alignment ctrl D to deselect then use your arrow key then to move it up like this okay now I'm going to apply a drop shadow then the blending mode is normal opacity i'm going to reduce it to 76 then i will increase the distance to 9 then the size i will reduce it to 2 then the spread i will reduce it to 0 Alright, then I'm going to apply something like this as a shadow background. Okay, click on OK. Now I have something like this. Then I will reduce it like this. Okay. Then copy this text. Then I will come here, select my test tool. Then I'm going to change it to geometric for 15 board. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then I'll drag it up here and reduce the size like this okay then having done this one I'm going to copy my test again ctrl C then I'll duplicate this one ctrl J I'll drag it here then center alignment ctrl D to deselect then Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to apply center alignment. Ctrl D to the select. Then use your arrow key to move it up. Then 
and expand it then duplicate this one again but before then I'm going to copy the test here ctrl C then duplicate this one ctrl J then you bring it down here ctrl V to paste then use your left aligned test then you drag it here then I'm going to reduce the font size this way and I'm going to draw a red angle over here Then I'm going to use a gradient overlay on it like this. Okay, now I will click on reverse. Then the angle will be 0% like this. Then okay. Then I'll select this tool. Then Ctrl G to group it, then, and I will rename it location. I'll drag this one down a bit, then increase it a little, then also bring this one down like this. All right, now. After like this, I'm going to select the test and group it. Then this is the test. All right. Now I'm going to import my background. The first thing is the church logo. I'll position the church logo over here. All right. Then bring the background. Then go to your effects, blur, Gaussian blur. Then 37.4 is okay. Then this is what I have here. Alright. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this image here. And I'll position it over here. Then apply your layer mask. On blending mode uh, color here is going to be black then here is going to be white then my opacity is going to be zero make sure here is black now I will blend it this way like this then I'm going to change it to multiple and the opacity I will reduce it to 52 okay then I'm going to bring this one again then I'll position it over here Position it over here. 
all right then apply your layer mask select your blending mode and you blend here okay then you apply multiple blending mode the opacity then you reduce it that's 42 okay okay this is okay then the last one then i'll bring it down i'll bring it down here then apply your layer mask and you blend it here like this reduce the opacity to 20 or oh, 15 15 is okay all right then i'm going to group this one background so this is my background then i'll make this one the church okay now i'm going to apply a drop shadow on this test here the shadow i'm going to leave it nine then the distance i'll leave the distance 13 the spread nine then i'll change the color the background color i mean the shadow color to this then i'll click ok then i'll rotate the angle this way that is 101 click ok Now, use your arrow key to move it up a bit. Then, I'm going to bring location icon. Okay, so this is what we have. Now that we have designed it like this, then the last thing I'm going to do, I will hold my Shift, Control plus Alt key, then I'll press E on the keyboard, then go to Filter, then select Camera Raw, wait for it to load. Okay, now here I'm going to select to enter minus 30. Okay, do you see it? then my construct 11 then my shadow i'll reduce it to minus 17 then the clarity i will leave it 13 and the the haze i will leave it 9 then click ok then this is the outcome Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe, like and share.